Jupiter is always a fascinating object for astrophotographers or for anybody looking up to the night sky. In today's video, Jupiter is the subject and I took photos and animations and I'll outline how I got those results with the processing steps and the equipment used. All that and more coming up next on Astronomically Speaking. <music> Jupiter is the fifth planet in our solar system, and the largest planet. And it's captured the attention of astronomers and regular people over the years. And it captured my attention at a young age in 1994 when Comet Shoemaker Levy 9 struck Jupiter with its fragments after it broke up. And I got to see that using my 8-inch Newtonian reflector telescope, which was even pretty amazing for a small telescope with just an eyepiece. I was able to see the dark spot hitting uh, Jupiter's atmosphere, and you could see that in the tiny little eyepiece. Well, now we flash forward many years later, and we have an Edge HD 11 inch with a digital camera. And that makes all the difference because now we can gather data over longer periods of time and essentially making a video of Jupiter and taking the best shots from that video and turning it into a photo. Or we take multiple videos and turn them into an animation. And that's what we're doing here today in this video is in late 2022, I did all these images and now here are the results of that. Now in Southwest PA, seeing is always an issue. The jet stream or other factors make it hard to do planetary in this area. This year, Jupiter was higher than normal, so that created better conditions and better images overall, and you'll see that in the coming images. So now we'll dig into some of the equipment used and uh, see how it all was done. Here is a look at the reflectix that I put on the telescope to try to, to cut down on thermal oscillations inside the telescope. I took the reflectix material, which comes in a roll, and I tucked it underneath the dovetail, I was able to fit it under. And I also took the flexible dew shield and covered it with reflectix as well. So the goal here is to see if planetary imaging at the very least turns out any clearer as a result of better thermals. Option B was to replace these uh, vents here with actual fans that they sell. I think it's around $250 or something like that. You can do that as opposed to about $27 on Amazon for this material. You do one or the other, you don't do both. Well, according to the advanced Barlow spec, 90 millimeters of back focus is 2X. So I've put the advanced Barlow just the lens and attached everything else. And this distance now from here to the sensor is pretty close to 90 millimeters. That should be the true uh, 20 or uh, 2x power well here we are on the night of september 29th it's three days after opposition where jupiter was closest to earth in 59 years had nothing but clouds tonight is more favorable and i am going to do a series of um, auto run here in the next hour and i have it set i have it set for 60 seconds for each one and a 45 second delay to do an animation here potentially a total of uh, 35 to run that should give me about an hour's worth but i got to start it after the meridian flip otherwise it'll get caught in the middle and i'm not gonna i'm gonna let it run while i sleep i've done it before and it works quite well a sample i did of a 90 second exposure uh, a little bit ago Conditions have been kind of iffy tonight compared to the other night, and I didn't do any Photoshop processing on this guy. It's just straight out of Registax. And the one very neat thing on this picture, even though um, details on Jupiter weren't quite as crisp, uh, the moon up here, I, I think that was Callisto. I could be wrong, but I have to look and see. Uh, it, the details turned out pretty good 
for uh, east. And again, I'm trying to keep the histogram between 50 and 80 percent. And the gain, the other night I had good results at 300, which was under the default. You can see the default here. Uh, there's a there's a dark spot there. That represents where the default gain would be at roughly 386. Now the other trick I do is to increase the exposure really bright. And at this point, get my focuser ready to go here. It was initially at 16.0729, and I will focus and try to make the, the moons as much of a circle as possible. They were clearly out of focus. Right about there, I ended up at 16. 733 so a little bit of an increase 50 or so get the histogram back to 70 to 80 roughly I go a little higher because the red always lags behind so here it's 76 ish maybe a notch higher so tonight higher gain lower exposure seem to get a little bit clearer and this is pretty much as in focus it is, as it's going to get tonight. Alright, this evening has been great for Jupiter so far. Uh, it's going to reach about 42 degrees by 12.30 a.m., which is in 15 minutes, and by 2.25 it's even higher. I forget how high, 50. So now we're at, um, uh, let's see, almost 44 degrees here at 12.53 a.m. about 2.20 it will get to about 50 degrees and it has been fantastic and in fact I have the image in Registax from just a few minutes ago and there we go um, it came out very clear with just some initial tweaking yeah I don't have the camera turned but I will adjust the final image so Jupiter peaking now in late September around here earlier and earlier in the evening how to do the processing.